point part A, define velocity. So velocity is change in displacement per unit time. Velocity is change in displacement per unit time. The speed V of a sound wave through a gas or pressure P rho, density rho is given by the equation. So speed V is equal to K P by rho, where P is the pressure, rho is the density, where K is a constant and has no unit. So K is a constant with no units. An experiment is performed to determine the value of K. The data from the experiment are shown in figure 1.1. So we have given the quantity, their values and the uncertainty. And you have to remember that the uncertainty that we have given is percentage uncertainty. So we have given the value of percentage uncertainty and not the value of absolute uncertainty. That is we have given the value of percentage uncertainty. Use the data from figure 1.1 to calculate K. Now here we have to use this data from figure 1.1 to calculate K and we have also given the equation. So V is equal to Kp by rho to the power 1 by 2. So as there is a power of 1 by 2, so we can cancel this by multiplying 2 on both sides. So 1 by 2 and 2 cancels. So V square is equal to Kp by rho. So K is equal to V square rho by P. V square rho by P. So we have to square V into rho by P. So V square, that is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 2 square into rho, that is 1.29 by p that is 9.9 .9 into 10 to the power 4 so 9.9 .9 into 10 to the power 4 so after calculating we get a value that is 1.419 that is approximately 1.422 significant figures then use your answer from b1 in b1 and the data from figure 1.1 to determine the value of k with its absolute uncertainty to approximate number of significant figures so with this approximate uncertainty, we need to f uh, find the value of k and its uncertainty to approximate number of significant figures. And we need to find absolute uncertainty. But here in figure 1.1, we have given the value of percentage uncertainty. So percentage uncertainty. So we have given the value of percentage uncertainty and we need to find the value of k and its absolute uncertainty. So we already know the value of k that is 1.4. So percentage uncertainty in K is equal to So for uncertainty, since we have given the value of percentage uncertainty, so we need to calculate our answer in terms of percentage uncertainty. So this is our equation that is percentage uncertainty in K is equal to since it is V square, so 2 into percentage uncertainty in V plus percentage uncertainty in rho plus percentage uncertainty in rho plus percentage uncertainty in P. That is 2 into percentage uncertainty in V plus percentage uncertainty in rho plus percentage uncertainty in p. So what is the percentage uncertainty in k? 2 into percentage uncertainty in b that is 3 plus percentage uncertainty in rho that is 4 plus percentage uncertainty in p that is 2. Though p is divided but we need to add the uncertainty. Whether it is divided or multiplied, whether it is divided or multiplied, we need to add the uncertainty. So the percentage uncertainty in k is 12%. Now, percentage uncertainty is equal to absolute uncertainty by the true value into 100%. That means 12% is the percentage uncertainty, and we need to find the approximate change in the value of k divided by the value of k that is 1.4 into 100%. So, what is the approximate change in k that or the approximate uncertainty or the absolute uncertainty? So, what is the value of absolute uncertainty in k? So, we get a value that is. 0.168 so 0.168 and if you have to remember that whenever we need to write the value of uncertainty we need to give the answer to one significant figure so we can convert this to one significant figure that is approximately 0.2 since there is a 6 so 1 is added to this one so 0.2 that is one significant figure so approximate approximate number of significant figure that is when we write the uncertainty, we have to give our answer always to 1 as if or 1 significant figure. And the value of k that is 1.4 is to 2 significant figures. So 1.4 plus minus 0.2. And you have to remember that whenever we need to write the uncertainty, 
we need to give our answer to one significant